all right so in this video we are going to see method overloading and method overriding in python okay so let's start with method overloading okay so what is method overloading all right so whenever there are some method having similar name but the number of their parameters or the type of their parameters are different from each other then it is method overloading what i said is like suppose we have two method and these both two methods have the same name but the number or the type of argument that these two methods have are different from each other then it is method overloading now the question arises which method will be you know uh, compiled which method we will take so it is decided when we pass the arguments the arguments will be checked that these arguments matched with with which um, method and that method will be executed so that is how method overloading works but the thing is in python we don't have method overloading but still we can achieve it by by you know by manipulating the method so we can achieve method overloading but in a like traditional way it is not uh, it is not here in python so we will see that now but before uh, seeing that in python we will see how the normal uh, method overloading works so for that i have we have opened this c c++ compiler here the online one so here we have written a class name shape and it has two method we can see add method having two arguments or two parameters a and b and then we have again another method having the same name and it has three parameters a b c and these are uh, adding the parameters so let me comment first this line okay okay so if we run this we can see here okay it is error okay yeah so if we run this program we can see here the output is 15 here so when we are writing as dot calling this add method having 5 and 10 inside is inside it we are calling this method which is returning 5 plus 10 15 and suppose if we call the another method having three parameters then we can see it is giving us 30 so it is working in both the method it is like deciding on the basis of the parameters we have passed which add method to call so like this this normal method overloading works but in python this is not a lot or this is not possible so we will see here okay so let's first see how that normal method overloading does not work in python so let me just quickly create the method with the same name add and it will be having two parameters a and b and what we will do is we will add this a and b so it will print it will print what it will print a and b now again let's have another method another functional method with the same name and we will give here c and we will add here c all right now if we call an add method let call add and let's pass here 5 and 5 so it should print 10 right it should print right but it will not print 5 it will not print 10 because it is asking for missing one required positional argument c so when we write add 5 comma 5 we wanted to call this one but we are not able to call this one it is looking for this one and this second method having the same name what it is doing it is overwriting this method so so we can see here that it is not this method overloading the normal method overloading does not work in python and if i run this now we can see here it will work perfectly but i if no if i will not run it it will not work but in our that c plus uh, plus compiler we saw that it was working in both the cases right so that's how this method overloading the traditional way it does not work in our python 
so it will show in a center so okay so now let's see how we can achieve this okay so we can achieve this but we need to manipulate these methods so i was able i mean we can do it in n number of ways and uh, i i was able to find or think on the of three so we can i will see that here so let me just create class shape and uh, this class shape will be having one method called addition so it will be having one method called addition and it will be having three parameters a b and c now our objective is to make this method able to add two number of uh, arguments also or three numbers of arguments also so what we can do is i will make one as zero c equal to zero so what we can do here now is it will print it will print sum is sum is a plus b plus c and now if we run this so let me create a object s is equal to shape and it will call s dot add okay now if i pass here 5 and 5 so what it should print it should print 10 and it will work in this case so it is printing 10 again if i print if i pass it here one more let's say 10 so it will print 20 so what we wanted to achieve it is possible in this example and uh, so this is a one way again we can do the same um, program or the same idea in different ways also so let me apply that also or show that also again we have created a shape class we are making an add okay so now what we can do here is okay what we can do here is okay let me write a is equal to none b equal to none and c equal to none all right now now okay that none is none means there is no value that none is not equal to zero okay none is not it is not like c equal to zero it is like null means i mean it is none and none means there is no value so okay so now what we can do here is uh, for it for this method to work with two parameters or three parameters what we can do is we can check okay we can check if if what if a not equal to null and and b not equal to null and c not equal to null then what it will do then it will print the sum sum is it will print a plus b plus c but what if we pass here all and it is showing me error what okay i have to write here none not null that's why but if what if we pass only two arguments then it will check l if a is, is not equal to null okay and null and b not equal to null all right hmm. so what it will do it will print a plus b Alright, so it should work. Let test this. Let create a object shape, and uh, let's call this add method. Add method with what? Add method with two. Let's pass here first two parameters. Five comma five. Let me clear this old. Okay. If we run this, we can see here the sum is ten, and if we add one more here it will show us 20 
so this is also a way this is also a way this is also a way but what happen if we want to add like more than 2 3 4 5 numbers so what we can do here is we can achieve that also and we are what we are doing here method overloading only i mean we are manipulating this method so like this we can do like there is one more way is yes, we can here do with the help of args args so what this do is it will take these arguments it will take n numbers i mean it will take any numbers of uh, arguments and it will store them as a tuple and then we can add them so what we can do here is we have wrote this now we need to add this right so how we can add this so we can add this like mm, it will having a tuple okay so we need to add this so how we will add this okay so we will create a for loop for i in a r g s um, and we will take a result and that result will take result plus a r g s and again first of all we need to set this result the result as zero okay now if we print here print sum is result okay so will it work yeah it should work so let me clear the old and we can see the values also let print the values also print the value values over args okay so if we run this now we can see here it is calling an error and why it is calling it is showing us an error hmm why it is showing us an unsupported operand type or plus hmm Yes. Okay. Here I have to write word. We have to write here I. I mean this I will for I in A R G S first first value five, second value five, then third value ten. So like this. Now if we run this, let me clear this one first. Let me clear this. Okay. Now if we run this. we can see that sum is 20 and the values were 5 5 10 so this is also we can achieve this method overloading let me pass one more like let's say 100 so it will print 120 and it will show us like so what we are doing here we are achieving this method overloading we are just applying we are just applying it anyhow so that is how we can achieve this method overloading in python but in a normal way it is not uh, available in python so this is all about method overloading okay and now let's see method overriding okay so what is method overriding see if you remember i showed you in that previous here but i showed you here like when i when we created a method like addition like this let me create it first and okay okay so in this example what we had seen here is if we run this it will show us an error we know because it was looking for here it is showing that c is needed it is looking for this method so what here happening is this second add method it is over writing let me show it is it is over writing over writing that method but now we are going to see method over writing now we are going to see over over writing so what is the difference see both are same on the okay but over writing we use the term overriding when there is inheritance like things otherwise we will use the normal word overriding so that's the difference otherwise both are same 
okay so let's come to the method overriding so what is overriding is what is method overriding in this method overriding there will be a super class that will be having a method and there will be a subclass which is inherited from the super class and that subclass will also have that same method with that same method as of the parent class and what will happen here is this children class method it will override this parent class method we will see that in example here so let me just create a class let me just create a class called square square and and what and what and what we can do here is we can do the area okay so def area of the square is what it will have if we need to pass here something right we need to pass here let's say side a and what it will print it will print area of the square is is what is a multiply by a that's the thing so this is for the square class now let's create another class called circle and that circle will inherit it from square class okay now let's create the same method having the same name area and it will be having what it will be having radius okay or r we can say whatever now it will print it will print it will print area of the circle is is what what is the area of the circle is 2 pi r square right pi r square so 3.14 pi r square multiply by 2 times radius so let me write here r only r into r and let me change this to r okay so this is the thing all right yeah now if we create if we create an object of the class circle okay and if we call the area method of the circle or if we call the area method and if we pass here let's say 5 as a radius so what it will print see it will when we will write object dot that method name it is looking in itself in the subclass and if it is finding it it will print this one it will access this one and it will printing 78.5 and it is not accessing this area why see it is not accessing the area of the parent because here this overriding is happening this area this method is of the method of this subclass is overriding the method of the parent class and here how this method overriding happens but you know if i change the name here like area circle circle and if i and if we call this same method like this then it will call this area method of the square class so we can say see that the answer is 25 but if the names are if the names are same then the subclass method will override the method of the parent class so this is the method overriding and we can also call this one also using the super method so we can also call this like uh, super using super method like this super dot super means it will go to the parent class and if we write area area and we need to pass here let's say six is the size of the square and now if we write this statement area c dot area dot five so what it will happen it will it will go for the 78.5 of the circle first then it will call the area of this square which is 36 you can see here so that's what happening here but if this line is not here so it is over it actually it is overriding only if it finds this area so i hope you are getting what is happening here and this is method overriding and uh, we have covered this method overriding in one more video with the uh, inheritance and the mro also that will be more clear uh, i will just suggest you to check that video uh, 
uh, I will put that link in the description or here I will show it so that's the thing with the method overloading and method overwriting so if there is any doubt you please write it in the comment I will try to find out an answer or you can try it by yourself also so thank you